Hmm. What's going on everybody? The Lost Joker here. And today I'm making a little video tutorial of how to play No Man's Sky Expeditions as of 2025. I've been doing a video series recently on my channel of all the No Man's Sky Expeditions and I have at least one comment per video. How do you do this? How do you install these? So I'm going to go through the process. Guys, I want you to be rest assured right now. It is so easy. I was actually very surprised at how simple and straightforward this is. Okay, so step one. All right, we want to make sure we have No Man's Sky installed on our computer. We have No Man's Sky, right? Where is it? Da, da, da. There we go. I have No Man's Sky. And you can see I'm on Steam right now. So I'm on Steam with No Man's Sky. And then I want to go to this website. Okay, and I will provide the link to this website in the description. cwmonkey.github.io slash no man's slash nms dash expeditions slash okay again the link will be in the description um very specifically i want to thank cw monkey and his team and whoever else helped him work on this oh my god so straightforward and awesome so pretty much all you do you come to the site step one select expedition you just go through I, i'm actually going to do this for you right now the next stream i'm going to do is going to be number 10 singularity so i click singularity right let's make this a little bit bigger so i can see what i'm doing singularity step two customize now sometimes there's options here here let me show you some of the other things some of the older expeditions will have a problem this one says when starting this expedition from existing save the anomaly will not show up after the expedition is completed a patch has been created so you want to click you know what i mean so you always want to just make sure to read the yellow and if you want to select or unselect a patch that they they suggest you use because of current issues, you always want to make sure of that stuff, okay? But anyway, I'm doing Singularity. So there isn't one. That's awesome. I always click Reset Expedition Defaults just to be safe. And then you go to Download. Download. Okay? And I'm going to show you where this file goes. Don't worry. Uh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> not my history. Oh, no. All right, so... I'm going into my downloads. This is what we just got. Season underscore data underscore cache dot JSON. All right. And this is going to go into our app data folder. So what you want to do is go down to your search bar and type in, and I'll do it here so you can see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You want percent sign app data percent. Now, just be careful in Windows when you're searching. It may bring you to a web result. You want to make sure you're going to the file folder. You'll see it says file folder and it looks like that. Not the web results, that doesn't help you. So you wanna open that folder. Okay, now you sometimes when you come to this folder, it'll look like this. You wanna make sure you're in C, users, U, app data, and then you wanna to go to roaming. Roaming. And then we're gonna, for this, click hello games, because they're the ones who made the game. No Man's Sky, NMS, right here. And then, now I always get this wrong. There's two folders here. You just gotta find the one that has this one in it, and it's usually the one with more stuff. Um, it would be in the cache, so you click cache. Now it is gonna be this one, because you see right here, season underscore data, there it is. Um, for, so I just wanna show you the other one so you can see what that does look like. I don't even know if, th this might be an old save or something, I don't even know what this is. Normal star command. Oh, this might be another account I have, a Steam account. These might be different Steam accounts. So you're going to go into your Steam account, cache, and then you're going to find that. And then we're going to click and drag what we downloaded. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I skipped a step. Guys, this is very important. Okay. This is the most crucial part. Before you click and drag the season data into the app data, we're going to go on Steam, and we're going to go up to this top left corner, and we're going to go offline. Now... Before I do this, I want to make sure I'm very clear here. You're not going to friends and clicking offline mode because this is just, it just is how you appear. You're not actually offline by clicking this offline button. You're just appearing offline. So you need to go to Steam and click go offline. And at which point you will see it'll look like this. It'll say Steam is currently in offline mode. Ba 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 ba. Go online. Don't click online. We want to be in offline mode. Now, once we're in offline mode, that is when we go back and we put the season data cache in here. Move to 
that. Replace the file because they have the same name. And now the current expedition or uh, the expedition I wanted to do should be the one that is loaded as the current expedition. Now the downside is you cannot go online while playing these. If you go online while you play this, the expedition will immediately end. Like it won't even kick you out of the save you're in. You can keep playing. But the second you're you're connected to the internet, the expedition in your game will be like, okay, expedition over, because the date will be updated, pretty much, is how it works. I'm just launching the game now so you guys can see that it did work. And uh, I'm going to actually do my stream right after this, although I don't know how long it's going to take for this video to upload. Let's stop this music, shall we? Okay. So now when I load up the game, because we're in offline mode and we've done that change, when I click play and I go to a new game, and you can see here, guys, I've done all these previous expeditions very recently using the same method. I attest it works. You go new game, expedition 10. That's singularity. That's the one I downloaded. And so how what you do is you do the expedition. You go and do the expedition. Once you are done with the expedition and it's converted back to a regular save, then you can go back online on Steam and you can claim all your rewards from uh, the Quicksilver guy on the anomaly uh, on your main save. So simple, right? And you can rinse and repeat that process, okay? You want to do the next one, you just make sure you're out of the game, you go back into offline mode, you can download the next thing from here. Okay, my next one after this is going to be Voyagers. You know what I mean? Like, you just go down the list. So simple. So guys, that is it. That is how to uh, install and play the older No Man's Sky Expeditions. I want to specifically thank CW Monkey and his group and team here. You can see here also, this is a work in progress. Uh, Ras Iron Monkey on Discord is another person. And Leo DM is someone he thanks on the page. Uh, I want to thank all you guys. Like seriously, this is... A very straightforward and easy way all the stuff I'm saying here is also like uh, up on the top here it, it explains how to do this like this is great and I, I, I even though I'm making a video explaining how to do this I owe everything and all of this to these guys for doing to, for making it possible so there you go all right guys thank you so much for watching please remember to like subscribe and follow the lost Joker that's me on twitch and YouTube and definitely tune in for some no man's sky all right, have a good one, everybody.